today we're going to um, show you how to extend a uh, pan tilt zoom camera over Cat6 cabling to connect to a Starleaf video conferencing system. The camera and the Starleaf codec both use a cable called Visca. Looks uh, looks like this for the camera control. The camera video goes over uh, HDMI. So we're going to use a product that can transport both the video and the uh, serial to control the camera. This pin, there's a lot of pins on here. We only need three of them. We need transmit, receive and ground, which are the three pins across the middle there. The pin five, which is the one that's got the gap beside it. That's the one that transmits from the codec. That's received to the camera. The one in the middle is ground and the one beside it is um, receive on the codec, transmit from the camera. So that's pin five, pin four, and pin three. Those are the three we need. So I've taken a Visca cable that came with the camera and I've cut the end off it. I've cut the end off both ends. I'm going to show you how to make one. Both ends are going to be made exactly the same way. What we're going to need is we're going to need some uh, wire cutters and strippers and we're going to need a multimeter so we can work out which wires are which because the color of them uh, may vary from cable to cable. It might be the same as this one might be different. So first of all we uh, we've already cut the wire now we strip off the outer casing. Okay, we're gonna strip the outer casing first exposing the wires below. They're quite fine wires so I have a special stripping tool I will strip these really quickly. You insert the wires you pull it and it strips the end of the insulation off. Just like that. Do them all. Oh, I don't actually know what. I'll do them all because I know the colours I need on this one. But I'll show you how to do them. On this one, the colours we need are red, orange, and yellow. So there we go. Now, in order to be able to hold it, I only have a couple of hands. I'm going to use a vise and I am going to put the connector in the vise. Okay. And then I'm going to spread the wires out. I'm going to pick the one I want to test. So let me show you the meter. The meter, I've set it to volts, the um, resistance setting and I've enabled the blue button which on this meter lets it make a noise when you get a circuit so when it's closed circuit you get a beep when it's not you don't and that way we can buzz out which pins we need so um, I'm going to try this wire first which uh, I'm colorblind so it's a bit tricky for me wrong that one's no use to us blue Okay, this one here is yellow. Let's find out where the yellow one goes. There's our yellow wire. Been pinned down there. Nothing else touching. That one, yellow, is pin five. Let's write that down so we don't forget. Pin five, yellow. Next, we're going to try and on this cable, I have to know that the red one is an important one for us. So let's get the rest out of there and find out where red is. It's that one. Pin three is red. Pin three, red. And then I think this one is the other one we're interested in it. Yeah, indeed. So this is orange, and orange beeps on that middle connector. So orange is pin four. 
Okay, so I'm going to take those three out of the vise. Red, orange, red, orange, and yellow. And I'm going to cut off the rest. And now we're going to build this connector. And the connector is going to have let's see. There we go. Now if we look on go, we're gonna strip the outer casing first. Exposing the wires below. They're quite fine wires. So I have a special stripping tool. I will strip these really quickly. You insert the wires, you pull it, and it strips the end of the insulation off. Just like that. Give them all. Oh, I don't actually know what. I'll do them all because I know the colours I need on this one. I'll show you how to do them. On this one, the colors we need are red, orange, and yellow. So there we go. Now, in order to be able to hold it, I only have a couple of hands. I'm going to use a vise and I am going to put the connector in the vise. Okay. And then spread the wires out and I pick the one I want to test so let me show you the meter the meter I've set it to volts the um, resistance setting and I've enabled the blue button which on this meter lets it make a noise when you get a circuit so when it's closed circuit you get a beep when it's not you don't and that way we can buzz out which pins we need so um, I'm going to try this wire first. Which uh, I'm colorblind, so it's a bit tricky for me. Wrong. That one's no use to us. Blue. Okay, this one here is yellow. Let's find out where the yellow one goes. There's our yellow wire. And pin down there, nothing else touching. That one, yellow, is pin five. I'll write that down so we don't forget. Pin five, yellow. Next, we're going to try and on this cable, I happen to know that the red one is an important one for us. So let's. Get the rest out of there and find out where red is. It's that one. Pin three is red. Pin three, red. And then I think this one is the other one we're interested in it. Yeah, indeed. So this is orange, and orange beeps on that middle connector. So orange is pin four. Okay, so I'm going to take those three out of the vise. Red, orange, red, orange, and yellow. I'm going to cut off the rest. Now, as I said, the uh, Starleaf codec transmits on five. That means the camera receives on five. Four is ground, three transmit. We can just ignore all the rest. 
Now, from our earlier research, we found out that pin 3, transmit, is, uh, is red. Pin 5, receive, is yellow. And then pin 4, ground, was orange. Okay, so we now get our device. Um, what we see here is receive, transmit, ground is our order. Receive, transmit, ground. Receive is uh, five is yellow. So yellow, transmit is next. Transmit is three, which is red, and then ground number four. Y, yellow, red, and ground number four is orange. Yellow, red, and orange. So we've got our cable. We've got yellow, red, and orange. We've got them stripped, and we've got the ends exposed and the rest cut off. We need our little screwdriver. Let's do them one at a time. The orange one. Yellow, red, and orange. Red goes in the middle. And yellow goes on the left. Here we go. All three wires are secure. Took it out of the vise. It's in nice and secure. Now we're ready to test it. So here's our setup at the okay. other end. We have the Sony camera, Sony power, Visca cable. This is plugged into Visca in. And this is the video coming out of the camera. This is the other end of our homemade cable. This is power, which is powering the, uh, the Octavia device. And this is HDMI in to the Octavia. And it's all been set down this blue Cat 6 cable. Here's the other end of that blue Cat 5 Cat 6 cable. And here, HDMI going into the camera in on the Starleaf GT Mini and the cable, this cable, the cable at the other end is exactly the same so the same cable at both ends goes into the camera control on the GT Mini and uh, here is that GT Mini it's on a call it's on a call to this all this is controlling our own camera there we go and that's it. That's how you extend using Octavia boxes, the camera input and the Visca control to a remote site after about 100 meters away.